Miss South Africa 2017, Demi Lee, welcome back to the on your homecoming visit to the Garden Route. I think after the crowning, you know, it's it's been very busy. It's been really, really hectic and an, definitely an adjustment. But I'm I'm truly enjoying every moment and I'm truly I'm just loving it. You know, my, my biggest fear is looking back at the end of the year and saying, Demi, you should have enjoyed it more or I don't have any memories left, you know. So I think it's just to me to take it all in and to just be present and be in the moment moment throughout the year. Now, yesterday at the airport, there was a crowd to meet you. Oh, it was so sweet, definitely. Um, it made my, my welcome, you know, back home so much more, so much warmer. And uh, it was lovely seeing seeing all the people I know and I love. And, and, and today there is a crowd of people that are enjoying a luncheon with you today. Yes, yes. So uh, my, my mom and a few friends organized uh, a get together for me, just our close friends and family, um, just to celebrate with me. It's actually my first time really being able to celebrate with, with people around me because it's just been so busy and it's just been go, go, go. So, And last night I actually slept like for the first time more than eight hours ah. <laughs> until I could wake up, no alarm set, nothing. So it's great to be home. I haven't really um, been out much, so been hiding a little bit in, 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 the, in the house with my parents. So just getting a little bit of rest. What is the actual story behind the Miss South Africa? SA 2017? So uh, they definitely haven't coached me on what I should say to anybody. Um, I have, you know, they give us some uh, um, pronunciation lessons and just um, we, we get some eti etiquette lessons from professional impressions that teach us, you know, how to handle yourself, how to do a good presentation, um, how to speak to people um, and how to just come across well because I mean first impressions last, we all know that. And yes, I think it's just uh, very important to always remember that you are Miss South Africa and you represent the whole of the nation, each and every person in this country and you should just always be careful of what you say. No, but uh, from what I've picked up on social media and the feedback I've been receiving has truly been amazing. I am so blessed to receive all the support uh, from, from South Africans, you know, all over from the smallest town to the biggest cities, um, every culture, every language, people that's just supporting me. And I, I, when I entered this competition, I, I, I sat down and I said, you know what, Demi, when, when you win, I want people to, to see a little piece of them in you. I want people to relate to me. I want, you know, I want people to see a little part of themselves in me. And I think, you know, that, that might perhaps be the reason why people are warming up to me so much. And I think it might still take a lot for, for people to really get to know the true Demi and who Demi is and what I'm all about. But so far, so good. And I'm so thankful for all, all the support. I've been receiving it's, it's remarkable I, I I will be maturing in this process I, I've already you know learned how to handle myself so much better situation so much better so I don't think I want to change as a person but I want to grow okay and now can you tell us about the Miss Universe Miss World so we haven't confirmed yet if I'll be going to both Miss Universe and Miss World um, you know if I'll be attending both international competitions or if I'd only be doing one um, I am picking up from social media that a lot of people would love me to attend Miss Universe. I, I think the brand might resonate with me a bit more, I'm not sure. Um, but yes, if, if I could choose, I'd really like to attend Miss Universe. I'm sure the young girls out there want some inspirational words. I think that, you know, in times like this that we're going through in our country, we need people that build each other up that um, take each other by the hand and lead each other. Um, I don't think we need any, anything to, you know, that breaks each other down. Um, if there's a last message of inspiration that I can leave to the youth, especially in the garden route, um, but also all over South Africa, if you have a dream, if you believe in something, believe in it all the way. Don't give something your, just your 100%, give it your 150%. If you are prepared and if you know what you want in life, I promise you that there is nothing that will break that focus of you. Um, as a young woman, I feel that you know, with hard work and a lot of dedication, anything is possible. And that's surely what got me up to this point. 